What's going on guys? This is Ferox and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to save your images in high quality in Photoshop. Now, although this is a basic Photoshop tutorial, I still see a lot of designers out there making some of these mistakes. So we have our final image here, but before you even start designing, um, when, you're, when you're creating a new project, you have to make sure your resolution is set to 72 pixels per inch or PPI. Now you can have it higher, but it doesn't really affect anything if you're posting it on if you're posting it on the web, if you're gonna be designing for print, you have to make sure you're designing at 300 PPI. You can't start designing something in 72 and then switch to 300 because that will make the resolution a lot, that'll make your resolution a lot larger and it will distort the quality a little bit. When you're finished your project and you're ready to save it, go up here, file, export, save for web legacy. Now I always save my images in PNG 24. Um, and you can clearly tell the difference if it's JPEG or PNG 24 for some images, of course, or for most, actually, you can see the pixelation in JPEGs. Um, and especially like social media websites like Twitter will really butcher the quality, um, even on PNGs sometimes. So, uh, yeah, so keep everything here the same. This is pretty much all default. Now, when you come down here to quality, you can have it at by cubic that will give you that will make it a lot sharper, but it will increase the file size, keep in mind. But I keep mine on bilinear because I'm I don't really notice the difference between the two. And then you can go ahead and click save, and there you have it. There's your PNG24 image, nice high quality. Um if you're if you're gonna be building a website that has a lot of images on it and it's gonna need to load all of those images at the start of the website. Um, I recommend I recommend downgrading to, to JPEG because it will give you that smaller file size. Um, and also some websites do have limits on what file sizes you can upload. So in that case, you will need to go down to JPEG. But yeah, other than that, use PNG24 for web. Now I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. If you want to save for print, go up here, just click save as, and go to Photoshop PDF. Now I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then this window will pop up and I use the preset high quality print and I keep everything else at default and then you can click save PDF. That will give you the highest quality when, when you go ahead and print your, your project. Um, now make sure when you, when you're printing your project, you convert everything to CMYK. You can design an RGB and that's what most people do, but you want to convert it back to CMYK. In order to do that, you go to edit, convert to profile and as you can see it says our source profile is RGB and the destination space profile uh, use working CMYK now there's a lot of other settings here you may need to use those but what I use is working CMYK US web coded and then you can go ahead and click OK and that will convert it and if you see there's a little preview here it slightly changes the colors you could you'll see a, you'll see a little difference